So, you know, as a writer, you know, you have to learn about human psychology to an extent, right? And, you know, the longer I've been writing, um, the more, you know, obviously, char- the more characters I've written, the more characters I've written, the more studying I've had to do on human psychology, you know, why people think the way they do, why people, you know, act the way they do. And um, one thing that I, um, one thing that I've kind of always found interesting is self-identity, Right. Um, and it correlates from, you know, characters in the writing world to, you know, the real world, right? Because we all have, you know, a self-identity. And that identity is, you know, how essentially how we perceive ourselves to be perceived, I guess you could say. Uh, it's, it's a combination of that. It's a combination of how we actually are perceived. Um, it's um, a combination of our beliefs our actions, you know, what we do for work, for a living, for fun, uh, who we associate with, all of these things feed into our identity. And when people have quote unquote identity crisis, crises, it's, it's a real thing, you know, people, you know, when you question your identity, you're questioning everything you've done, everything you're about, everything you believe in. And that's a very powerful emotion that a lot of people go through. Um, And I think for me, um, as a writer, I love writing characters that have those identity crises, whether it's because of an event that happens that makes them question their beliefs, whether that's, um, you know, just or what whatever happens or whether it's them, you know, kind of changing, you know, things around in their lives and realizing, oh, man, like. You know, all the years I've wasted thinking like this or doing this. Um, it, it's interesting to see how people react to, you know, quote unquote identity crises. Um, because essentially, um, you know, we take pride in our beliefs and who we are and how we're perceived. And when that's attacked by the outside world or by ourselves sometimes, um, it's, it can be a tough pill to swallow.